pew 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 I waited, like that was. I waited to hop in there because I was trying to find out the song he was doing, and I still couldn't figure it out. You, I'm blue. Da-boo-dee, okay, da-boo. well, I feel like that one was probably the easiest one I've ever done. I didn't. I was. That wasn't the top of my head, you know. When yeah, when I was started, I had another song in my head, and then I looked down and saw the word blue, like mm. literally right before you turned my mic on. I was like, "Yep, that's it." There you go. So then you called the audible last second. I audible. get it. Yeah, I get. I it. hit the Omaha real it's quick. Understandable, dude. All yeah. right, guys. Welcome back. It's PTG. Welcome. Episode two seventy. I'm Alex. I got Pat and Bobby jokes with me. We got a fun filled episode for you guys today. It's gonna be a pretty, pretty jam packed episode as well. We got Ooh. uh, we got where you been like we always do. Comeback kids gonna be cool. We're gonna have Pat McClellan, our close. Buddy, our close personal friend, coming back on the uh, the pod. He's going to do a phoner with us. He's going to talk a little baseball. And, uh, you know, he's our moon guy. So mm-hmm. it is Lunar New Year. So, I mean, he's – I texted I, – I don't know if I texted, sent you the text conversation I had with him. I was like, well, we, we need our moon guy. You mind doing a hit? And he's like, fuck. Because I, 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 I was like, hey, you want to do the pod tomorrow? You want to do a quick hit? And he was like, yeah, definitely. I was like, well, we need a moon guy. Fuck. Well, that was his response. But I was like, all right, whatever. But P. You Mc- already said yes, so you're yeah, locked he, in. Yeah, he was locked in. So P. McClellan's going to do that. He's going to talk a little baseball with us, too. And Ooh. then uh, we told you guys we were going to bring it back last week. We did not bring it back last week. But Future News is officially making its comeback. It's mm-hmm. first. The first Future News appearance of 2019 is going to be this week. So get ready for it. And uh, how have you been doing, Pat? What have you been what have you been up to? Should we just hop right into it? Yeah, uh, might as well hop been? right into it. Why don't, why, don't we, why don't we get, hold on a second. Here we go. Yeah. We will, uh, let me let me see where the uh, ladle lets are doing. I don't know what they're doing. They're lollygagging around. They probably went out for a smoke. Probably went out for a smoke. And you guys Dirty know. Dirty habit. You, you can't be doing that. Although, who am I to tell you what to do yeah. and what not to do? Because I no, like I hope that. more people do it. We need some population then control. Not, then not the herd. But all right, here we go. This is where you've been. Where you been? 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 Where you gone? Where you gone? Since you been gone? Where you been? Where you been? Where you been? All right, you want to lead us off, buddy? Yeah, I mean, you already started it anyway for me. So, uh, you know, just getting ready for the Super Bowl, watching the Super Bowl, which you know everyone shit on the game, but I thought it was fun. I like watching defensive football, so. More like snooze fest. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. That's what my friends could go. Yeah, well, when it's the Rams and the Patriots, you want offense. Like, if it was the Ravens and the Bears, then I'd be okay with defensive football. What the fuck is the difference? You watched the whole game anyway. Like, that's, so why, like it didn't that's matter. why I thought it was more interesting because they weren't known as dominant defenses and then they came out and just fucking killed. Well, I mean, the Rams kind of were. Well, I say you watched the whole game anyways. Robert, you didn't watch the game, did you? You didn't watch any of it. Nope, not one second. No, he, did, he was watching The Bachelor. Were you watching The Bachelor? I was not. Wait, did you, what was you, wait, what were you doing instead? I always wondered, like, what do you do if you're not watching the Super Bowl? Were you trap? You weren't in the air, you know, like you weren't flying anywhere. You, you do whatever you want. And you can probably watch the Super Bowl the on a Super flight Bowl. now. Uh, I actually think I was watching uh, Sex Education with Sam on Netflix. You were watching a what? Why would you just not? It's it's. I didn't care about it. I'm you actually, didn't even watch it for the commercials. <sighs> no, I'm actually like more proud that I didn't watch it, like more than I should be. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a weird feeling. Like if you're not gonna watch it, at least go out in public, like where you know you've got all you've got every you've got the world to yourself because everybody else is watching the Super Bowl. And no matter what you did, anyways, you should have lied and said on the podcast at least that you were like doing community service or something to like make us feel like assholes for asking you in the first place. <laughs> oh, uh, did I say watch Sex Education? I meant I meant teach it. He was, oh, you were I just teaching, teaching a Sunday class of Sex Education. <laughs> Robert the was Super teaching Bowl. kids how to throw that dick around. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like think about the game at all while you were watching Netflix? Uh, no. You didn't want to be like, well, wonder what the score is. Nope. That blows my mind. Dude. No, I I ended up I ended up wondering about it because I got mentions talking about how the score was. Yeah, you were actually the I believe you had the closest prediction yep. of scores. Yeah, I guess thirteen to seven. He was off by four points. Damn. We were both off. I was off we by fucking off like by thirty. Like, yeah, <laughs> we, were, we went for like the, the scores. I feel like everybody else was saying we went for the also. expectation, and Robert just goes, "I'm going to throw out two random numbers." And he was the closest one. So damn it, and he didn't even watch. So Congrats. he wouldn't even know. Good thing we had. didn't put a bet on it. So uh, yeah, I watched the Super Bowl. I, I played a lot of video games this weekend, and then uh, yesterday just uh, took a nice long nap in preparation for the State of the Union. 
watched all that. So you like needed a, a nap. No, I was just I, I didn't really, I didn't really sleep Monday or, uh, or like Sunday or Monday. Uh, like I just couldn't fall asleep at night. So like by the time I got home from work, I was fucking tired and I just laid down for like a mm. nice long nap. It was just mm. one of those where. No, there was no reason for the nap. Like, it wasn't in preparation for State of the Union. Well, I mean, you, you Even though I believe like I just said that. I think I said that Yeah, I was like, you were so exhausted. You're like, oh, yeah, I got to gotta have my rest but, uh, to watch this. Was it like was it like an hour, 45 minutes? No, I took a nap for like three hours. No, yesterday. but like how long was the State of the Union? Oh, I think it was like an hour 20. That's so fucking long. Ugh, that's what she said. It is, but it's, like, uh, not about the State of the Union, though. Yeah, no, she, I mean, like, She might have, though. Most of it was really good. And then, you know, a couple of parts, I was just like, eh, you didn't really... You don't really need to throw that in there, Trump. But, like, like, at one point he brought a guy on who was, um, remember the uh, synagogue shooting last year in Pittsburgh? Wait, he had, like, a guest? Well, no, he, not, like, up to the podium. There's there's always people in the crowd that, like, you throw now to. Now joining us on the State of the Union podcast, <laughs> this guy. What if the State of the Union was just a podcast and you had to fucking download and listen? I really don't feel like we're that far away from it. Shapiro. That's how he's going to do his. That's an early, earlier uh, future news. Yeah. It's a but, uh, but yeah, he uh, he had a guy in the crowd. He was one of the survivors of the Pittsburgh uh, uh, anti-Semitic uh, mm. synagogue shooting last year, and it also uh, like I think the guy was also a survive like got out of uh, a concentration camp back in the day, and then they brought up that today or that day was also his 80th birthday. So then the chamber starts singing Happy Birthday to this dude, and like what? everyone starts clapping afterwards. And Trump looks at me, goes, "Congratulations, they wouldn't do that for me." <laughs> So it's like so, he had a couple parts in there that were just ad libbed and were funny. a little petty, but like, uh, I mean, he, he did a good job overall. And it like, I mean, I mean, I didn't watch. There's it. a lot of partisan shit in there. Like Democrats won't clap for certain things, but then sometimes he's like, "Yeah, America's doing great and we're a strong country." And I like, go, oh, "Fuck, well, we have to clap for that one." <laughs> yeah, right. Like er- early on, he threw in a bunch of just overarching statements that like you have to fucking applaud. And I could tell, I was like, oh, he's just pissing off the, the Democrats. Troops. He's he's making the Democrats clap for him just to piss them off early. It's like that that Family Guy episode where Lois is trying. She's like nine eleven. Yeah, independent <laughs> voters are the dumbest group of the population, and she's just like, just say buzzwords and like, yeah, I, I like that. I I go to that school too. <laughs> so that's that's what yeah. you you've been resting up for the State of the Union, watching yeah. the State of the Union, watching the Super oh, I'm glad Bowl. He, Pat has to like go in full hibernation mode. Yeah. <laughs> I ate 12 pounds of food, took a night's nap for a yeah. few days, and mm-hmm. I woke up and I was fine. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you get like did you go somewhere for the Super Bowl? I assume you probably went to a Super Bowl party. I was uh, hosting a Super Bowl party at mm-hmm. Lucky's downtown. Oh, like, okay, uh, so you guys bar. had like full spread and everything. They, they had uh, so they had the Cody Parkey challenge is what they had. Like, like mm-hmm. they brought it back oh, and that's right. yeah, some or two people made it. Two people made it, so they got goose. I think I think only the first guy got it because he was the first one that made it. But uh, he got Goose Island beer for a year, and I don't know. You if didn't tell me that was a fucking possibility. That was well. I mean, that is that was definitely was. You so. didn't tell me there was dope prizes. You just said there'd be a field goal fucking well, set up for you to so try like, some kicks. The whole thing was like the dude. I think was like either like a, an ex soccer player, which I mean that's not against the rules, but I think he was like a so- assistant soccer coach at like U of H or former assistant soccer coach at U of H was the story I heard from somebody, or maybe he was like. Ex football player. I so, would have shown like up. That. If he you had, had a background in it. I mean, you still wouldn't have made it. Yeah, you I still would. would not have made it. I don't think you understand how good of a kicker I was. You still probably wouldn't have made it. Yeah, I would have. I was not. Good I would have just it. towed it. I was bad. I would have towed yeah. it. My, I would have had the distance at least. Mine didn't quite have the distance, but I didn't hit it straight either. Yeah, you're also a little bitch. So. Whoa, whoa! I, I watch <laughs> a lot of soccer now, buddy. So I'm pretty sure I know how. I know form. Yeah, your form was still my shit. touch. I had a nice touch on the ball, but it just wasn't quite as good of a touch as it could have been. That's some soccer lingo for you. Yeah, me, me and my brother, we just watched it at home. And, like, we didn't – like, we were too lazy. Like, we could get wings and all this stuff. And then we're like, ah, fuck it. Let's just, you know, run to the grocery store and pick up some random shit. Yeah, I got food off a food truck. It was pretty great. So, uh, Kroger, they do these, like, pre-made enchiladas. So, we got a bunch of those. But then also we got just some uh, French onion dip. By the way, French onion dip. Get some Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips and dip it in there. Game changer. More of a fan of American <laughs> onion dip. So, excuse me for being patriotic. Yeah, I wanted spinach dip, but my brother loves French onions, so mm. we didn't do. Well, he's, he's, you can't, you can't he argue about everything in life. He does. There he's you a go. fucking little Says bit. a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, I, but yeah, Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips into French onion. It'll change your life. So, yeah, Lucky's had crawfish and, and some scrimps out there. Scramp. They had They had barbecue. They had all kinds of food. And I was just kind of like running around talking to people like... 
It was just like, yeah, I was hosting a party. I was talking to people and having beers with people. Like, that was like. So, like, you weren't really catching the commercials then because you're in a bar. People I, watched, I watched some of them. Like, I, the NFL 100 one I got to see. I, that I, that I, was I, the coolest one. I mean, just because I don't. It was a lackluster group, which also I'd like to just say, like, shout out to Odell Beckham Jr. for back to back best Super Bowl commercials in back to back seasons. He had the Dirty Dancing one last year. Oh, that's right. So, yeah. like, if you want a Super Bowl hit for a commercial, who was your number Odell two Beckham. commercial then? I really liked the the Anthony Lynn one. It was not like it was not yeah. named as like a favorite of everybody's, but it was like that was cool as shit that they had like the first responders, mm-hmm. and it was like that's the that's the obviously that like cool. oh the feel good corny way out, but like that one was just like dude that's crazy that like now they had him on that, and it's like yeah I was actually the first person on the scene. I was the first person to help try and uh, and bring you back. I was like what? And then Friday night went to a place called uh, I can't remember. Da, da Vinci's. It was called Da Vinci's out in Katy. Went out there for my girlfriend's birthday. It was like a, her, her, her birthday was it. her birthday was last Wednesday, mm. but we had to do two podcasts, so we didn't quite get to celebrate. And celebrating we in the middle of the my, week sucks. Yeah, we went out with my family on Friday, and like she got to like it, it was it was a cool little small restaurant. It was like like legit authentic Italian food, and it was pretty dope. I would mm. highly recommend it. Da Vinci's out in uh, in Katy. That was pretty cool, and Emma had a good time, and then. Been watching a lot of celebrity big bro feeds. There's been a lot that's going on. We'll update you on that here in a little bit. Uh, not to brag, got a Chick Fil A card, black Chick Fil A card. So that means what I does that mean? I get a free meal from Chick Fil A once a day. For how long? For the entire year. How the fuck did you get this? My company, for some reason, threw me on that list. Where that's is like it? an influential person? I'm not gonna tell you where it is. <laughs> Oh no, you lied. You don't get a free uh, uh, piece of Chick Fil A every day for a year. Yeah, you do. No, can't go on Sundays, bitch. Well, fun fact right there. You fucking is, lied to our you know, fucking listeners, man. Well, That's each, not cool. Each day that they are open, every day of business, I can get that. But also, maybe you're forgetting that I do have a free Canes for a year. Card. I know. So then, what happens on Sunday? Oh, where am I? Ah, oh, Canes. I just got Canes. It's perfect. You can eat it's chicken perfect. every, every day. fucking day, and I don't have to pay for it. I don't have to pay for it. I just came up with a great idea. Is that the new streak? Every single day you have to do this. Like, you're going to get sick of Chick-fil-A, but like, Am whatever. I, though? But what you do is you take a picture of it every day, and uh, you tweet it, and you at, uh, at PETA. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit of, hey, another day, Cal Ripken of chicken. I'm, I'm Ripken chicken. Ooh. Ooh. Ripken chicken shirts? Ripken chicken. I don't know yet. It doesn't sound as cool as Cal Ripken of crawfish. It doesn't, but... If we come up with a sweet ass logo, yeah, what to think of that? Somebody design us a logo. Also, we might get sued because that sounds a little bit uh, too close to uh, ripping chicken that Popeyes tried to do for Doesn't a bit. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's close enough. Yeah, close enough that it's not the same. But either way, just at PETA because uh, pissing off vegetarians and vegans is some of the most fun shit. Yeah, yeah. So the Chick Fil A black card, I like. It's like, would you rather have an American Express black card or a Chick Fil A black card? I would argue that I'm fine with just the Chick Fil A black card. Yeah, because you don't have to pay anything back on the Chick Fil A black card. It's fantastic. But it's weird because it doesn't have like a swiper thing on it, so like they you don't just show up. You just like here, and sometimes they, they don't know what to do, so they just go to like the manager or whatever. Hold well, on, Weezy, stop! Hey, dog's you don't fucking, let him talk to you like that, working. Weezy. But uh, so yeah, like they they you like they, one of the girls went back to the manager the other day. I was like, "What is this?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, he's get a comp him a free meal." And I was like, Fuck "Yes, perfect." And that's what's like you said. There's no swiper. Chick Fil A. They're just a trusting company. Nobody's gonna rob. And I'm Chick-fil-A. not. I haven't abused it. I haven't yeah. abused it because I'm not that guy. I and could. I could. Do, I could. But I don't want to be that even guy. Even if you do, Chick Fil A, they're gonna. Be, uh, they're gonna. Be, you know what? We'll pray for. They him. forgive me. Yeah. Because it's like run by Jesus. Yeah. It actually is run. He's by actually Jesus. a lot of people forget. He's the CEO. He's the he's the guy in the back who's uh, cooking the chicken. Well, but it doesn't say Jesus his name. Well, yeah. it does say it's owned by Truett Kathy. You're right, but. What we're forgetting Jesus is that Jesus is a modest man, and we're forgetting that Jesus lives in all of us. <laughs> so he, he really is the CEO. He is the CEO. If you think about it, he's the CEO of all companies. Nominee Patria, oh, and chicken. And we're going to hell for that comment. All right, so uh, Robert, where have you <laughs> I been, was buddy? Already going. Uh, I, I've been wondering Ooh. what's. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wondering what's the the youngest you can be as an adult, like, like before you're not like considered like uh, like when you're considered the youngest you can be considered an, adult? an actual adult because no, no, technically no. you're an Here's adult I mean. at eighteen, right? Like I think drooling. If you drool as, as an adult, I feel like that's oh, that like what's the like, youngest thing you can do as an adult? Yeah, 
What if you sleep when you're drooling in your no, sleep? No, I don't mean drooling in your sleep. I just mean uh, like shit drooling. your pants. Shit, shitting whoa, your pants is whoa, the youngest hey, thing you can do. Hey, <laughs> whoa. You know, sometimes you can't control that shit. I get literally. it. But, like, literally. it's the most childish thing you can do as an adult. <sighs> like, willingly shitting your pants. Yes, probably. No, kids don't. Babies don't willingly some shit do. their pants. They just I mean, don't some, know any better. Some kids do, though, probably. Uh, I don't know, man. That's a good question. I'm trying to think. See, and I thought he was just saying, "What's the youngest you can be an adult?" And I was like, "Well, I know kids at 16 have been tried as adults." And yeah, <laughs> I was th- yeah, that's what I was I was thinking at first. Um, um, what's the youngest thing you can do as an adult? Hmm. The pooping thing—that's a good one. That is definitely that's in the lead right now. The only other but you thing, know people get sick. The only other thing that popped into my head was like, well, you know, 13 year olds hook up with 13 year olds. So like, if you were an adult, and, you can't do like, that. Yeah, no, you can't yeah. do that. That's not young. That's just perverted. Yeah, you're then that you're weird. And you're that guy. And Nobody you're likes get that guy. Raped in prison that's, every day. That's problematic. The youngest year. Well, I mean, the uh, question is, can at, at what age do they stop letting you go into Chuck E. Cheese by yourself? No age. No, no. If you, you can always just say you're going to meet a party, which is creepy if you're not really going yeah, to meet but a party. They'll, but they'll, they'll fucking walk. Like, they're not going to let me just walk into Chuck E. Cheese. They don't let you walk into most restaurants. <laughs> That's true. Which but is Chuck weird, E. Cheese doesn't like, have a should. dress code, so that normally I would. <laughs> um, Man, I don't know. Like, is like I would say, like, cry over just dumb shit. Playing but... pin the tail on the donkey. Or like, uh, but if it's a drinking a game, if it's a drinking game, but like if it's not, eh. see, all of them are like, but you could do it at this. I don't know. I you guess know shitting your you pants is probably say. it. Your pants but like at your birthday, making people wear party hats—that's the most childish fucking thing you can do as an adult. Like fuck you. No, most childish thing 30. you do as an adult is fucking make people come to your fucking gender reveal party. That's what's childish. But that's fuck. not childish because you're it's, fucking having a child. It's, it's, that's very childish. Yeah, you're right. No, You're having not. a child, so it's incredibly childish. <laughs> no, it's like, but it's like I have a birthday party. Come here, wear this outfit. Like that's a, that's what like a little kid yeah, would no. do. I don't know. Nobody's gonna make me. I'm just trying shit. to shit on gender reveal parties, and they're stupid. They really are. You but, went to one though recently, didn't you? One of your friends. Yeah. Well, actually, it, it was uh, a little over a year ago. Because, oh, that's what else I did this uh, this weekend was uh, that gender reveal for that child. Yeah, the child just had her first birthday, so I oh. went over and got kind of drunk on Saturday. So is the gender still the same, though? Good yes. question. You have to ask that these days. Yes, yeah, Stephanie has not changed her gender. Okay, well, that's good to know. She also I mean, I don't know. Not that there's also, anything wrong with it. She also can't talk yet, and uh, so, yeah. Why can't, can't she talk yet? Can't you know, talk. She's one year. When I was a year old, I was already doing stuff. Yeah, and your parents were already wishing you'd shut I the was, fuck up. I learned how to, to work. I, I was, you know, I was whittling when I was a one-year-old, my dad gave me my yeah, first no, knife on my first birthday. Well, they, he was I built my first yourself. house by my second birthday. Is your dad Derek Rose? Uh, he is actually. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys, Here's a knife. Kill yourself. I'm gonna give you guys a birthday hats for my birthday. I'm gonna do that. When, I don't think having a birthday, when, when party is your hats. birthday. I guess shitting your pants is shitting your pants is definitely. That's a good one, the, I mean, I don't know. I can't really shitting or pissing your pants. That sensitive information, Pat. <laughs> Well, let's okay. See. No. What if you like, eating and getting food all over your face? Oh, that's a good that's one. Because that's a very kid thing. Food all over your face and like where you're eating. You know, like when there's a baby in like a high chair and you're like, why is there applesauce there's, all over the place? There's only two people that do that: babies and drunk girls. Drunk people is what I would say. Because like ribs, like you got ribs on your face a little bit maybe, you but like sauce there. no, no. But drunk girls will get shit. When it's all over, fucking everywhere, spread out across. Like you the ate table. pizza. How'd that get there? You have fries. How are there thirteen ketchups? How do you have pepperoni in your ponytail? What's up with that? So, yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. I'm going to see if I can find Robert. That's all you've... Uh, before he changes it. He's not changing it. I haven't no. changed it. Oh, I know what it is. No, that's what I'm saying. I looked on Facebook for before he had time to get on Facebook and take it off. I know when his birthday is. and hmm. It's beep. <laughs> there you go. So, that's, uh, that's where you've been, buddy? Yeah, that's where I've been. No, you were at a wedding, though. You had to work this, like, crazy wedding, didn't you? Yeah, I did, but then... Uh, that's gonna be part of my not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Robert, it was like the biggest wedding you've had to work, though, right? Yeah. So you do. Can we talk about your other job a little bit? I mean, I'm not gonna like. I don't. I'm not gonna outro for yeah. it. I mean, yeah, it, so. he actually does photography. For, photography for the mob. <laughs> it's really no. He uh. Mob. I, I don't know. I just know sometimes people don't want to talk about like their their businesses that they work for. But uh, Robert had he does like photography for weddings and stuff like that. And he had like the biggest wedding ever, and he had some crazy requests he had to do. And uh, I, I was really looking for you. Think you sent Emma some pictures of like the fireworks yeah, and did. stuff, and that was pretty crazy. Like a wedding with fireworks, which should just say like the type of wedding that so, it was. So hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and guess they were white. 
No. Ooh. Whoa, I was guessing rednecks. Ooh. Were they rich Asians? They were. Yes, uh, that was a close second. Wait, isn't it the Chinese New Year? Ooh. We're going to get to that later, too. We're going to get to stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Like, we're not going to tune out. It's not like you're going to commercial break. All right, so that's where we've been, huh? That is where we've been. That's where we've been. Why don't I tell you guys about, uh, not where we've been, but about where you could be this coming week at the dinner table when you order through blueapron.com slash PTG. See what or I just did there? The I was table. really trying to find a way to just shoehorn it. I, I sucked at it. Um, so Blue Apron Gang is the best meal delivery service in the United States. And um, it's one of the most popular ones for sure. You're not just having regular meals like you get in a frozen box or anything. You're getting the most perfect meals delivered right to you perfectly proportioned and everything you need for it you just gotta dump it into the pan make it follow the instructions that are very simple instructions and you can get all your food in under 45 minutes or less without having to make a trip to that pesky grocery store they're gonna offer you three different meal plans you can go with the two-person plan the family plan and the wine plan pick which one you want and you can get involved with blue apron today if you order from blueapron.com slash ptg these are some of the great items that you're going to be able to get on the menu this week Honey lime tilapia, oregano chicken and fresh tomato pan sauce, seared steaks and roasted potatoes, coconut curry noodle bowls, spicy quinoa stuffed poblano peppers, broccoli and cheddar quiche, barbecue chicken tacos. Those look awesome. And then they have, they have the uh, sweet potato fries with it as well. So that's a solid Ooh. little meal for you. Maybe a nice little Taco Tuesday. If you want to get some Tuesday out of the way. Uh, beef over zatar spiced rice, I believe I said right. And then uh, that's that's what you could get. For next week, if you order right now through blueapron.com slash P-E-T-G. We're even going to give you your first three meals for free at blueapron.com slash P-T-G. It's blueapron.com slash P-T-G. Get your first three meals for free at blueapron.com slash P-T-G. It's Blue Apron, everybody. A better way to cook. All right. I don't think I fucked up one of those uh, one of those menu items this week, so maybe that was a first. Yeah, that was pretty good for well, you. Uh, somebody, somebody check that. I don't know. I don't want to toot my own horn, but still. All right, guys. Are you ready for it, Pat? I don't know. Are you ready I? for it? This is what we've been teasing. Are you we've been teasing, and we thought you thought I was coming back last week because two weeks ago we said we we're going to bring back future news, but now we really are Woo! bringing back future news. Now, guys, for some of you that may be new to the podcast, what is future news? What does that even mean? Future news? How do you know the news is already? Well, we're just that good, guys. There's a lot of you know. I, I I'm somebody that's worked in radio. For you know my only professional career because I don't really have any other skill set. I just have worked at a radio station for a long time. Now part of it was working at a news station, and you know I was always like everybody's saying the same news. What people really need to know is the news that's going to happen yeah. before it happens. So um, just it's like a, Minority just, Report. Just as, yeah, pretty much. Just a disclaimer though. Like uh, we don't always we're not always a hundred percent accurate on these bad boys. But when we are, if anything we say here coming up ends up happening you have to find whatever media outlet says it happened and like hit them up on twitter email them facebook them and be like hey ah, oh, please credit past the gate podcast because they said this first they report yeah. they actually were the first people to report this please Nostra give them credit mm, yes yes or just like we're just really big j journals you know yeah. like we are very respected among the podcast and journalism community because we Fact. break stories like this much earlier than many now we have broken quite a few stories and by mm. quite a few i mean like four but that's four if more these, than most people. If these have, you broke last year that Josh Gordon was not going to f- finish with the Patriots. Mm-hmm. Although he does get a ring, yeah, he but did he not finish, finish the season with the Patriots. No, even though he was technically like a Patriot. But yeah, whatever. We we've been right. So just hit up, hit up whoever reports this if it happens later on and say, hey, please credit Pastor Gray podcast. They uh, broke this story first, and it's not fair that you don't credit this real journalist podcast for uh, for breaking the news. You know. We're, we've been on we've been on websites before about news. You know, we were talking about uh, about the immigrant caravan before because we're the Fact. finger on the pulse, finger on the finger pulse. On Don't the say pulse, it. Baby. Don't say it. Finger on the pulse. All right. Uh, so oh, without yeah. further ado, guys, we are going to bring up future news. I'll go first, Pat, and then I'll throw it to you. All righty. But uh, here we go. This is future news, gang. From the past gravy studios, this is. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. Let me start that over. All right. Here we go. And we tried take two. And action. Live from the Pastor Gravy Studios, this is Future News. We'll start off with some breaking news today. Donald Trump will give his first ever State of the Onion address tonight. He actually had been prepping for the State of the Union address last night, but did not realize he was reading The Onion. And uh, already got too far 
He said, screw it, I'm still gonna give it anyways. Tune in. LeBron James, after firing Luke Walton earlier in the season, now even before the All-Star break has finished, less than a week away, has fired four more head coaches, mm. refuses to take the job himself, though, and be a player coach because he just doesn't want to be blamed for Jackie anything. Moon would have done it. Yeah. Jackie Moon would have done it. Uh, staying on sports, Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski announced his retirement from football today. He's going to focus on drinking, 69ing, and eating Tide Pods. Every single fan of another team playing the Packers now is just obligated by law to yell cram it up your cram hole with floor every time something goes that's, wrong for the Packers. That seems accurate. Uh, swine flu, it's back in the news after Cincinnati kids, seven Cincinnati kids to be specific, came down with it. It's uh, the year after the pig, after all, but uh, apparently that's bad now. Also, uh, consolanadas, or uh, ladybugs as commonly called on the streets, they are now going to be referred to as spotted gals because the scientific name was hard to pronounce and people thought that it was insensitive to say that ladies bug people. After winning his 10th Super Bowl ring, Tom Brady still refuses to retire because he actually wants to have one ring to put on his dick as well. Oh, there you go. I like that. That's smart. Uh, Firefest 2 is officially a go now, gang. After pharma bro Martin Shkreli announced that he is going to fund it. No word on whether or not they're going to actually have food. Somebody might blow somebody for water, but all I know is Billy McFarland is pissed. And uh, final bit of news we have for you today, bears now officially extinct, unfortunately. Beats are now taking the rest of the year off in mourning because uh, they're paying their respects. No word yet on how Battlestar Galactica plans to mourn the fallen member of this holy triumvirate. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have to find out, out more on that as the year goes on. But that was future news. Did you hear that uh, that uh, guy that was going to suck dick for Firefest? He might be getting his own Netflix That's, show. He's definitely getting his own Netflix he show. Is. Yeah. Uh, he was like, I don't want to be known as the blowjob guy. It's like, oh, you kind of are, though. Yeah, it's, it's, Maybe don't say that on a documentary that you know that lots of people did, did are going to watch. Did you see this, uh, the sign at the Patriots parade? It was just his face, and it goes, Gronk, please come back. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was another one where it was Tom Brady's face superimposed over like a little cartoon dude with a dick. And then they had Robert, uh, or not Robert, fucking Roger Goodell's face on another sign with the jaw held open. And they were just pushing them together. <laughs> <laughs> Patriots fans are fucking that's a, great. That's pretty great. I like that a lot. Yeah. I really like that. Um, all right. Let's 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 hop on to our next segment. I'm, just, I'm happy Future News is back. I yeah. feel like we're a little rusty. Why don't we bring it? We're going to try it. Yeah, gonna, the, the, my wording on the Packers one wasn't very good. Yeah, I, I, fucked, up, how to get I that. fucked up reading a, a couple of times, too. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, it's it's tough reporting the news in the future before it's even happened. Yeah. It's not like, you know, not everybody can do that. When you so. channel the spirit, sometimes they stutter into they your did, brain. A lot of so. times they stutter. Yeah. They're usually stuttering. But uh, so uh, let's try and bring that maybe next month. Maybe next yeah. month. Because that's you, like just, what, just it's text, fun. It's a fun little you gotta, exercise. You gotta text me like once a day the week before we're gonna do it, so I can fucking remember. Okay, uh, but let us know <laughs> if you guys want future news back. We'll keep bringing it back, guys. Yeah. So, uh, and even if you don't, we enjoy it. So we're probably gonna yeah. keep doing it. Anyway. Feels, just feels good to be back into yeah. it. Uh, all right, let's get into comeback kid, where we just tell you guys. Basically, this is basically the way we can shoehorn what's happened yeah. in the last week that we aren't exactly able to bring up organically. This is how we shoehorn the stuff that's come back into the news that's been there before. It's the comeback kid. The comeback kid of the week. The comeback kid of the week. Bitch. All right. Uh, yeah. What do we got first as our first Yelp. comeback kid? Yelp is back. It is indeed yeah. back. Shout out to our. Uh, we were saying yesterday or last week on the podcast, we were like, hey, give us a five star review on iTunes, iHeartRadio. Subscribe to us. I think it's a follow on iHeartRadio is what you do instead of subscribe. Mm. Anywhere you listen to the podcast, give us a five-star review. You can also go give us a five-star review on Facebook, too, now. So go to Pass Gary Podcast on Facebook yeah. and just five-star review. Be like, dopest podcast Tell your grandmother because she's got a Facebook, too, to like us. And then somehow in all of that, I I said, like, Yelp? I don't know. Maybe make us, make us a restaurant on Yelp. Now, our buddy Enrique Ramon hit us up Ramon. and uh, said that we have the best podcast restaurant on Yelp. I would argue that we are tied for the best reviewed restaurant on Yelp. No, he said tied for hands first. down we got the best gravy in town. We do. Well, but but the review was has the best gravy in town hands down for sure. That was yeah. the review. Sorry, my wording was But I'm perfect. just saying, I'm just saying we are tied at least, if not yeah. the only like, I would assume we're not the only restaurant with five stars, 
But like we've got a perfect rating. So no, I would say we're definitely the best reviewed podcast on Yelp. I would argue as well. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I mean, it seems legit. I don't know who else that has a podcast would think to don't ask quote me on to that. But on Yelp, like, but we did, we did. But uh, so we have the best gravy in town. We're serving up hot and tasty pods every single Wednesday. I God, see, I, you know, I, I already said it once this time, but that's a great shirt idea. Yeah, hot and best gravy in town. Hot and tasty. Hot pods. and tasty pods every Wednesday. The hotter, the tastier, the better. Ooh, best gravy in town with a ladle dripping gravy over the words. That's perfect. We we we, that's, we we're done. We're, that's it. So now we just have to build the actual restaurant. Yeah, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna try and start sketching. I'm not artistic at all, and it's gonna look terrible. Well, I'm but I'm gonna sketch out an give idea. Give it a go, for man. Give it a go. Yeah. Give it a go. It's worth it. Uh, so yeah, Yelp is back. Good to know that we are uh, so highly reviewed on Yelp. I appreciate it, everybody. And if you guys want to go and keep our rating up. Keep on reviewing us on the Yelp, as well as all the other platforms we just told you. iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, even on our Facebook page, go give us the five-star review. It helps us show up higher on other things, and other people are able to find us better. Um, also, a comeback kid, parades, and the Patriots winning the Super Bowl. Now, yeah. last year, they didn't win the Super Bowl, so this year they're back. Yeah. So good for them. It's about time that, you know, Boston, what was it, 90 days since they won the World Series or yeah, whatever? Yeah, they, they won a real long time without a championship. I saw something that was like a four month old to have won more championships than Mets slash Jets slash Knicks fans. Knicks fans yeah. have in sixty years. <laughs> yeah, it's true though. But uh State of the Union. That's another comeback kid. We get, yep. we're just moving on. Um stating the union, stating of the union. Yeah. Um apparently st- there's there, there's no union state. The union is like multiple states at least, yeah. right? That's what I got of it. But um, we are you watched it. Upstairs. You watched it. Yeah, we watched we sort of thing. talked about it a little bit. I said I didn't watch it. I just watched it on Twitter. And it, like, it being the best and worst place in the world simultaneously, it was exactly what I thought it yeah. was. It was fantastic. Well, the, one of the funniest parts of the whole thing was uh, he said something along the lines of, uh, we're born free and we're going to stay free. We'll never be a socialist country. And the camera cuts right to fucking Bernie Sanders. <laughs> just sitting there looking all, wow, I'm burning. Just looking at the shit. Is that exactly what he said? That's what he I'm says. Burner. Yeah, that's how he burner. starts every sentence. I'm Bernie Sanders. Free money. That was actually not that bad. Yeah, that I was know. that last part. I threw a little good. Richard Nixon in there. I don't but, know why. Whatever. I did that. But uh, I'm sure they loved each other. Yeah, like every time <laughs> the cameras just kept cutting to people as they were pissed off at shit he was saying. But that one was just the best because as soon as he said "fuck socialism," the camera goes Bernie Sanders. Okay, what was the? Uh, just a question. Uh, what was the white shirt? White apparel, like Apparently, everybody wore it's, white, it's, it's which some, is a little it's, racist it's something if you to do think with about a it. Protest of him, like a women's protest of him, which so it's just women but, wore though, white, but and they're wearing all the female de- uh, senators are wearing that in protest of him, and then when he goes and female uh, employment is the highest it's ever been, they all stood and cheered and like high fived each other, like, I mean, good for the ladies though. You, you guys didn't fucking do that. I mean, it's what's funny to me, Pat, is uh, I mean, I don't I'm not saying I wanted to be pat on the back or anything, but like we ended the wage gap years ago. And yeah. I, <laughs> I don't ever remember anybody you standing don't get up and high fiving and cheering. And it's like, hey, I mean, it's not like I'm not saying I saved the country, but I'm just saying we were part of it, at least. Yeah, we, we you, played you, a role. You, I'd, say played the, a part. I'd, I'd say we're the biggest part. Like of we it. aren't. We are not Paul Revere. If you had, we're like who Paul? Who like Paul Revere's bookie? Maybe like that's what we are. If you but hadn't like started that. doing that, then we wouldn't be at the point now where we have the most female senators in history. That's a, you and that, started see, the now. Ball I'm glad rolling. somebody's finally making yeah. that correlation. Like, oh, what Alex ended the wage gap? Past the, I'm not just putting it on me. Past the gravy podcast as a whole yeah. ended the wage gap about a year or two ago when we first started selling shirts. Ladies, a dollar off because you know it combats it. But then like. Never once were they like, "Why well, hey, this passing? Like, what? Why don't we get any of that? Like Nobel Peace Prize? Maybe I don't know. I'm not saying we have to have one, but just you know, a thank you would be yeah. nice. A thank you it would be nice. It doesn't have to be the Peace Prize. We'll take the Nobel Prize for economics. Anything? Actually, that's probably think, like, that's probably is, the perfect one. What is, is the least awarded like Nobel Prize? Like the easiest one? To, like like the one that they have the hardest time handing out? Just give us that one. I'm fine with that. Just whatever, like whatever the least, um, like yeah, the like least you, worthy <laughs> Nobel, like just give me one. Or if you're having a really hard time deciding between two worthy candidates, don't give it to them. Just give it to us. If we're cooler. Yeah. We're fun. We're, I guarantee you. We're, we're the gonna, fun guys. They, I mean, they like for, okay. Nobel prize for literature. 
you get like a million dollars for winning the Nobel Prize. What are they going to do? Write another book? We'll do dope shit with that money. Yeah. Especially yeah. if it's tax-free. If we get the whole million, oh, man. <laughs> like, can you imagine? Oh, I can't. We'd throw the dopest office trivia party that I would show up to. I'd totally show Probably. up to it. Hopefully. Like... You went, you, you've showed up to all of our last one. So he's on a streak, at least. He's on a streak. So, yeah. State of the Union is back, I guess. And I guess wearing white then, too. Just I don't know. I yeah. just wanted to bring that up because I feel like everybody was talking about it last night. I mean, there's another group that wears all white, but uh, we're not going to... Uh, fucking clan. Mm. Would, that, would that make Nancy Pelosi the imperial dragon of the Democrats? They wear red, though, don't they? The Imperial Dragon does, but I'm saying she's the leader. Damn it. I, I, okay. I hate it because, like, KKK shouldn't have to have, like, Imperial Dragon is, like, the coolest name. Right? It's the coolest name you can have. Like, that shouldn't get to go to the like KKK. That, that should be the dopest Chinese like the spot in any town. The, the president Imperial should Dragon. be the Imperial Dragon. Like, not in, like, a racist way at all. I'm just saying, like, that's the dopest fucking name ever. Like, oh, hey, are you going to shit talk the president? Probably. Are you going to shit talk the Imperial Dragon? I'm not. No, you know who should be the Imperial Dragon? I don't Dragon. fuck with dragons. <laughs> Fucking Bruce Lee should be known as the Imperial there Dragon. We go. Oh, there we go. I like that. But fucking racists had to go and ruin it. Like, Thanks a lot, Like, guys. what are you talking about? You're white. You guys have nothing to do with dragons. Why did you have to ruin such a great term? I don't get it. it and no Imperial? Sense. Nothing about America is Imperial. Yeah, I mean, maybe that, maybe that's that's problematic. But. Fucking dicks. God, racists got to fuck up so much Way to shit. go, guys. We can't have any fun now. Stupid fucking racists. All right, let's move That'd on. Be a great band name too, Imperial Dragon. I was about to say, stupid fucking racist would be a funny name too for a band. <laughs> oh yes, stupid fucking racists. But you'd have to put a comma in there somewhere, or also just be stupid fucking racist. Stupid comma. You'd fucking be, racist. You'd be calling yourself like the racists. The man. <laughs> so- <laughs> all right. Um, oh, the commas. That'd be another good. Name. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, so, all right, let's go to our next comeback kid. And actually, we're going to uh, to talk to our good buddy Patrick McClellan. Woo. We, uh, you know, we 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 had the Lunar New Year, and that's about to be our comeback kid. So we had to go to our Moon expert. Mm-hmm. We're also going to talk to him about some more comeback kid topics we're and about uh, s'mores? and finish out the segment. So uh, this is our conversation with Patrick McClellan. We are uh, we're here with our good buddy Patrick McClellan at P McClellan on the Twitter, and uh, we we told you guys before we had to go talk to him because when we talk about the moon, there's only one guy that comes to mind. Oh, why are you calling? That's that why you're calling me. That's why I'm calling you, man. You're the guy. Fucking stupid! I, I left my I left my my only child's baptism for this. Well, you know, the, why would you get him baptized on a Wednesday? That's a shitty day to get him baptized. Well, because the Lord the Lord wanted it. <laughs> it's Ash. It's Ash Wednesday second. It's Bap- baptism Wednesday, and he was like, "Hey, you gotta go do it." So yeah, I know. Did we pick a terrible time? Yes, but I'm still missing it because of the moon. I mean, as long as you didn't leave him in the water, if somebody else was there oh, to hold him, yeah, I think you're okay. They're being it's being watched, right? Oh no, I, I think it was. It was uh, she was by herself at a, at a at a river. I think. So, I mean, we're gonna we're probably dealing with uh, <laughs> the creeks and red river rafting. So it's probably in, it's gonna take a, take a turn for the worst. Probably one of those outside churches. Okay. Let's just it. hope you gave her uh, those floaties. You know, if, you, if she had those little those wings, she's good. She's good. Um, All right, it was a, it was a canoe and a, and a, and, a, and a, you know, just a good luck and don't go down that. Don't go left like that. You know, <laughs> that's, that's smart. Where the waterfall is. It's smart. Yeah, I've seen bird box. You don't go that way. Um, all right. Yeah, never go that way. All right, so uh, we, we had our, our comeback kid this week. One of them is Lunar New Year. Now, I was Why? just— Why? Why did y'all pick that? Because it's—I it, guess that's what everybody's talking about. It's like Chinese New Year and Lunar New Year are the same fucking thing. So I wanted to okay, talk— I, I heard nobody talking about it. So I feel like you're stirring it up just so you can call me and rile me up because I've, I've, I've seen nobody talking about oh, it. Oh, it's been everywhere. I can't go anywhere without having somebody be like, "Happy Chinese New Year, Happy yeah. Lunar New Year." I'm like, "Shoot, you, uh, you too." Like, you got to get outside now? your echo chamber, man. Oh, that's what they're doing. Okay, so well, see, I'm getting uh, people. I've been people yelling at me in Cantonese all day, <laughs> but like, I, 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 I guess I thought they were just yelling at me. For you no got to learn Cantonese. But no, it's, uh, it's said happy, happy, happy Moon Day or something. Those sons, those sons of bitches. Yeah, but that's actually they'd be moons of bitches. But still, um, so just like, do you have any clue what the fuck the deal is? Like, why does the moon have its own calendar? What's up with it? What does yeah. this? What does this mean for wolves and menstrual cycles? 
Well, I mean, it, it, nothing changes with, with that. That's the same old harrowing task that it always is, both of those things. So, yeah, they, they the wolves will continue to yell at it. Women will continue to get periods and yell at us. Great. So us completing the cycle of from wolf to lady to moon to, to hell beast. So Naturally. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the original lunar cycle. Um, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a moon holiday. It's when it uh, ratifies its constitution. <laughs> The moon has a constitution. So, it's like, so yeah, so like, and it's like, it's a really bad one. I don't know. I, I was, I was, in, I was had, to, I was forced to go to the moon a couple of weeks ago. My buddy had had some court order thing up there. Sounds and horrible. Was, it's just not. It's just, a, it's a, it's just a hellscape. It's not good. So like, what is it like up there? You know, like that Neil Armstrong dude. Uh, well, it's, it's just off the rip. There's just, there's no air. So like, mm, just, that's just a problem. Number one, just, off, just from Jump Street, you just you, you can't breathe. It's, it's space. So um, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. The first thing they say, like, they're like, "All right, you're you're at the moon. Uh, we need, we're gonna need you to uh, take this three hour long math test." And I'm like, well, "For what?" Man? <laughs> what they're just like, it's a, "It's the moon test." Yeah, you gotta take a moon test. It's a three, but it's all just it's all math. That doesn't like what? How how does it help you? Does it help you at all on the moon? I, I don't know. I didn't. Nobody would nobody would explain it. So they, it's just something that you have to do. I think they just they want to make you do it. You it's, just, it's a, did you have to solve any problems? Be, there's moon men up there, and uh-huh. they suck. Number one. So yeah, yeah. They made you take a math test. And I'm like, Who, do you all know the answer to this? They're like, we don't know. They're just like, well, I was like, what? Maybe and they're like, yeah, you got to you gotta go jump into the dirt. And I was like, well, it's, everything is already dirt. And they're like, yeah, but there's a particular part of the moon that is all just a wasp nest. What? That's yeah, new. It's part where the moon is, all, is, is not just part, but mostly a giant space wasp nest. That sounds terrifying, actually. Yeah, I'm so allergic like, if, if to wasp, like, though. Yeah, if, if there's never a war or something, we're, we're done for. But wouldn't you think, like, if it was a galactic war, they'd, the they'd fight on our side? We worry about. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, I was too busy getting, being mad. No, yeah, and I think I was just talking about you the whole time, too. But, like, uh, wouldn't you think that, like, if there was, like, a galactic war, that, like, maybe the space wasps would, would come in handy for us to have on our side? Why would they be on our side? Because, like, moon, be earth, same thing, you know? We kind of own the moon, right? Proximity. It's like Puerto Rico. Oh, no, we don't. Re- Honestly, we know the moon owns us. It's controlling us. What do you mean? Oh, you're right. I mean, it's it... my whole thing. God, you, nobody listens. I'm trying you know, to listen. Are you trying to tell me there was no positive sides of the moon? It's just a dark side. Well, can you come up with one? Yeah, no, I no, could probably dunk if I was up there. The controlled us. Ooh, could you dunk on the moon? Did you dunk on the moon? Uh, no, because I was. I mean, the, the test took too long. And by nah. the time it was that, I was like, well, now I'm hungry. And they're like, oh, yeah, we also, you can't eat up here. I'm like, whoa. So you can't eat. What? There's you can't breathe. There's no air, and they're like, yeah, they just can't come up with all these fucking rules. And the moon men like laugh at you the whole time, and they just like it's just it's not, it's not cool. It sucks up there. Yeah, that sounds and like it. Like, dude. You have, they they they're adding extra flags everywhere that aren't blowing in the wind, and it's just it's very creepy up there. China's got a whole fucking giant new Shanghai on the dark side of the moon. Yeah, because they just the landed there, right? What? They just landed there not too long ago, right? They, they yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, They've already colonized it. And it's, it's, I think they have, uh, they're up to like 3.4 million people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got a new basketball team up there, the, the Moon Men, the Shanghai <laughs> Moon Sharks, and they're, uh, yeah, we've got Moon Basketball now. Great. So, like, you would, like, wouldn't you think, though, that, like, since, like, they've already called it Lunar New Year for all these times, like, this is actually the first real Lunar New Year? Like, you can't call it a Lunar New Year until you've been to the goddamn moon, right? Yeah, you you have to be there, and also it would just be like it wouldn't it just be like the first one, just the, the lunar year, mm-hmm. or just the new year. I don't know. see the moon just complicates literally everything. It really does, and I think you're making great points here. Yeah. Um, that another sucks. Yeah, no, so yeah, and, and like you know what, and like this, yeah, this is this has nothing, this isn't racist, but like you can't trust the Chinese and, and the moon with a calendar. I just I don't. There's something about ancient Eastern Asian medicine. Hmm. That uh, that I just don't I don't trust with the with the moon. Like, I'm hundred percent on board with that. Yeah, there's some guy. Yeah, there's some old guy with a foggy eye, like fucking yell, like talking mm. to you, and has a weird fucking uh, like turkey bones, and he's like ac- acupuncturing you, and you're in some weird barrel getting your your toxicity levels red, and you're like, what? How did this happen? I don't trust any it's medicine like, man that tells food. me to cure my flu. I have to eat up a ground up horse's penis. That just doesn't sound right. Not, and that's not happening again. I'll tell no. you that much. 
Well, you know, I, I actually, that, I, I, that's the one thing that I did enjoy. I've, I've been uh, on that. I haven't, had, I haven't had the flu in uh, in probably twenty years now, and I just, but eat, I'm eating those horse dicks like pretty much incessantly. You got to grind them up. That's the hardest part, though. Yeah. Just finding some way yeah, to grind them up. Yeah, that's very difficult. Too. What do you, I dehydrate it first? I get it like a beef. I make it into like a jerky. That's the secret, huh? And then, uh, yeah. Then, Ooh, so yeah. So anyway, horse jerky horse dick. dick. Mm. Horse <laughs> cock jerky, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, but we have, that's just to start, just to get it. So then you have to grind it up and do it with weird powder. Powder, and I just then I make little capsules. Mm. I see. Oh, okay. I, they had me no, snort it and get the kids to eat. <laughs> what? I snorted the horse dick. Oh, that's probably what that's it was. Okay. See, that's that's one of the coolest. That's probably like the only thing that's cool you can do with it. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. Besides, just take it for your well-being and to prevent the flu. But other than that, that's pretty tight. Well, so it's not the year of the horse, actually, though. Is uh, it's uh, so what I was I was doing some research for this interview, Patrick, because obviously you know we take everything we yeah, talk you, about. Yeah, you know, you're doing really well. Like I really, these are some very well thought out questions. They're yeah. very thought provoking, and I Thank actually going to say this is a very enjoyable interview. Hey, that's what I, I pride myself in, you know, being educated, and I, I get the big guests like Patrick McClellan to talk about the big hitting yeah, that's topics. Yeah, that's all. That's all I ask. Is somebody be interesting? And look, lo and behold, you've done it. So good job. So I appreciate that, man. Uh, so like I, as I was doing my research for this, and I found out it's the year of the pig now. Uh, I feel like in, in in this like isn't like male chauvinistic pigs. That's kind of like what everybody's against these days. Like, is this going to be a big year for male chauvinistic pigs? Like, what do you think about that? It seems like um, it, is it going to be problematic yeah, for them? They, they, you know, I think that's the yeah the real comeback kid is the uh, you know what I, I, I hate to say this because uh, I'm not a big fan of male chauvinism as as you may know. Nor am I. Giant, huge feminist, big feminist. Mm-hmm. I but as well. um, I mean the. Uh, Men are just now like getting in trouble for like unsoliciting, like showing showing their penises to people. Like we're, we're like just now like getting reprimanded, <laughs> and they've do, been doing it forever. So I, I feel like, like it's about time. Maybe probably gonna be all right. Yeah, like it's like just now it's like oh yeah y'all can't do that. And we're like well, we, we've literally been doing this forever. <laughs> no, they, they, they uh, had yeah, they so had their like, year though. Pretty... It's the year of the pig now. They had me too last year. Now it's the year of the pig. Everything's back to normal. They had oh, one you, year. You're thinking they're going to they're going to flip it and they're going to they're going to change the narrative. That's a that's a PR spin move that only the moon can pull off. So yeah, I, don't, right. I don't is the moon doing is the Makes moon sense. doing chauvinism's PR because if it is we're in fucking big trouble. <laughs> we're gonna, we're going to have to look into that. So um just I I was also think, looking at some doing my research on the year of the pigs. Now did you know that the Chinese they actually consider that there are five different kinds of pigs. They have uh, and like now hear me out and see if this makes sense because it makes no sense to me Patrick. They have uh the you got the uh, water pig, you got the wood pig, the fire yeah. pig, the earth pig and the metal pig. Yeah. Sounds like bullshit to me. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're all made of of uh bones and skin, right? Oh, there's there, there are, wait, there's, wait, there's skeleton horse. You were talking about skeleton hell well, pig. I'm just no, saying, like, they're, they're, I don't. I've never met a metal pig ever in my life, nor have I met a wooden pig. Does uh, that... Yeah, I've met a couple of metal pigs. Huh. They're um, yeah, they're not the great. Uh, some of the worst ham I've ever had is a is a honey baked metal ha- metal pig. But um, yeah, not, say, not is, great. Is there five different kinds of bacon then? Because I've only had one, and I want to yeah, try the four different. It's called a, it's called aluminum ham. Aluminum ham. Mm. <laughs> <Alumina. laughs> <Alumina. laughs> <laughs> really, how good of a joke that is. And oh. Just however, it's funny it's to say it. Just say it, pretend like I landed it. But yeah, it's aluminum. <laughs> it aluminum ham. There you go. Well, um, so uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Fire pig. Yeah, you got the wood pig. You got the water pig. Yeah, all that adds up. Well, this is the year of the water pig. So if you were born in 2019, you are a, a water pig, which sounds just, I don't hey, want to be that. The water pigs pretty cool. I, I saw, you saw in the Firefest documentary that they were just, they were all those models just hanging out on the beach with like water pigs, just chilling. They're beach pigs. Ooh, are tight. Yeah, okay. but didn't they say those pigs actually attacked them a little bit too? Yeah, because it, it wasn't yeah, their well, year yet. Still her- the pigs are still terrible, like terrible, disgusting hell beasts. Like, I think, the, no, I think the, it was just the moon like, fucking with their moves. They were swimming, and the tides control yeah, they, that. Yeah, there's or the moon controls the tides. There, yeah. Right? yeah, it's all it's all it's really all connected. Um, also, did you know that like so like in my research, I found out that uh, I was like, why would it be the year of the pig? That kind of seems like a shitty animal. But apparently, yeah. the Jade Emperor back in the day and Buddha, they called for a great meeting over there somewhere in China. I don't know where. And uh, the pig, this asshole, was the last guy to show up to the party. And apparently he was a little hungry on the way over, the walk over. So he uh, he ate a little snack, passed out, and was the last guy to show up. And I'm sure like they were probably yeah. like, well, we're this, where the fuck's the pig? And he was like, I'm right here. I just showed up late. Sorry, guys. I had to get a snack. And so that's where the term lazy yeah, pig comes from. Yeah, they don't nap in. Like, I don't care. I didn't, this isn't, how important is this? I don't care. 
Yeah. So take a bit of pity for whatever. That makes sense. Whatever. I mean, that makes sense, though. Any party you had in high school, you once the pig to. showed up, it was over. Okay. Yeah. That's a good point, too. Um, unless you're unless you're lying, just, like, just starting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're lying, like, yeah, it's like, it's, all right, now the pig's on the fucking, the pig's out here. We're good to go. And uh, just. You are right. This uh, this was something also that I noticed that was really interesting, and uh, I mean it it just plays right into the Patrick McClellan narrative. There's uh, there's all the signs you can get if you are uh, I guess the Chinese assign you like whatever year you were born in, and it's the pig, rabbit, goat, yeah. dog, tiger, horse, dragon, monkey, rat, rooster, ox, and snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, all the all the classics, right? Yeah, yeah, everybody knows those. So uh, pigs best matches like compatibility with uh, relationships and everything are all other pigs, rabbits, and goats. And they're, no, they're the one that they do not match up with at all is snakes. Anything, any, anything you got to say about that? Well, um, I, I, I will start by saying that just, I mean, this is no, this isn't in any defense of the pigs, but they're, the snakes don't have any matches. Everybody is again, they don't match with anybody because they, they bite and eat everybody. Yep. So the snakes mm. are they're not good. So you got to remember that they're just except for other snakes. It, maybe. Any animal you would have picked, it would have not been a match with a snake. So. Um, but also, pigs are terrible as well. But yeah, this you know, uh, I've been I meant to text you the other day. They're um, got a new de- development. <laughs> I'm not giving you any more money for Snake City. I'm not. I, I'm well, not this, giving oh, you any more money. Not Snake City. This is uh, it, 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 you know, like, are you familiar with like, the woodlands on the north side? It's like um, I like, know a lot, of, a lot of acreage and mm. trees and like really cool garage doors of, of like various woods, <laughs> and then um, also like a bunch of like really, really, really mean tree ash. And they Asps. and they tree snakes that that are very <laughs> sneaky and they're they're actually doing more damage than any of the city snakes ever did. But that being said, the the land is worth more. It's on I think it's on like a landfill, mm. uh, some sort of nuclear waste or something. So anyway, so if you could just you know feel or maybe like BK, I could probably get you uh, at least a lot in one of the good. I'm not I'm not giving you any more money for not the for snake city. I have not seen anything. I've never seen any return on this investment, and you've you've taken me for oh, thousands. Oh, oh, you didn't get to, Oh, your check. I'll have, to, I'll have to go check your. Yeah, you should have gotten a couple checks. Yeah, you, uh, you must give me the wrong address or something. Is Snake um, City sure was, the original Fire Fest? Snake City is no. Snake City happened. It was just hell. It was just hell. Like, oh, okay. We are very, very open about everything going on in Snake City. So, yeah, dude, don't ever compare me to those fucking. <laughs> he those, del- those, he those, delivered. Those, the real snake. The real snakes are, 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 are fuck Jerry. To be honest with you. Yeah. Mm, fuck them. Fuck, fuck Jerry. Uh, right. Yeah. No, I've been very open. That it's been snakes killing and eating people for pretty much the entire time. And, um, and I've done nothing to help, but, uh, but that being said, uh, it's, it's starting to make some money. Um, I think the checks I sent you were actually, they were, they, they weren't checks. They were requesting money that you owe. Mm, because, that was uh, what it uh, was. Yeah. 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 They, they looked like checks. They, they were shaped like them. So you That's... probably got a little bit excited and you look in there and it says, it says no, you have to pay us this because of the, uh, just dropped below, uh. Below what we anticipated. Anyway, so yeah, so you owe us a lot of money still. Um, it's a horrible real estate that, investment. Get that back. <laughs> um, okay, so we're doing it. We're doing pretty well. We're doing, so I, I'm by, I just bought me a helicopter and, a, and, and one of those Bentley trucks. Ooh. So it's pretty tight. So I'm doing pretty well. So it's good. Well, the helicopter probably comes in handy just floating over the, the city so you can stay away from the snakes because those, like, you just yeah, can't go in there go, anymore. I don't go anywhere near it. I mean, I mean, come on, man. I'm not going anywhere in that place. See, they're eating people. Why would I ever go near that place? Come on. It's like the Lost World in Jurassic Park, where like they went back, and the park's just kind of overrun at that point, and you're just like, "We, it's theirs now." It's that, that's actually that's exactly what it's like, but with only so snakes. It's like the Garden of Eden, like before, <laughs> before Adam and Eve showed up, when like all the serpents were. It's just, just all like, Satan's. <laughs> yep, all a bunch of all, all a bunch of serpents, all a bunch of devils, and they're just like, "Yeah, this rule. We're, we're eating all the fruit. We're we're slithering around. It's fucking this rules." And Not then, a yeah, fun place Adam to be. Um, yeah. oh, all right. Well, uh, then the the only last thing I had was that uh, like this going back to pigs because somehow we got we got onto snakes because of that. But the the, the Japanese, uh, well, yeah, it's all it's all connected. It's still it really is. Book it. That's the question. Yeah, that's what we did. Uh, the the Japanese actually they don't celebrate the year of the snake. They celebrate the year of the or the not the year of the snake. The year of the pig. Instead of the pig, they have the year of the boar. Now, like, wouldn't you argue like a boar is a way cooler animal than a pig? It's an angrier pig. Well, they're the, I mean, they're the same thing. There's no the boars are they're terrible. They're mean. Like they're the worst. Yeah, but it's way cooler though. Nobody I'm, nobody wants to eat boar meat. We raise pigs because they're cool and they're smart and they give us bacon. Boars are just dicks right. that overrun yeah, South those, Texas. Those are wild. Those are wild like beasts running around the forest attacking like the hogs. Like you don't you can't mess with wild hogs, boars. Yeah, those are what they got. I'd rather really be one of those. They'll, they'll, 
Like, they'll fuck you up, man. Yeah, that's why I want to be a boar you instead of a pig. You can't trust an animal that you don't want to be like the one that just you get to eat just a trough full of delicious stuff and just roll around in your own filth. That sounds pretty fucking ideal. Yeah, then everyone wants to eat you. Running around in the forest with tusks and getting shot by some fucking hillbilly in camouflage (laughs) in the back of a 2004 Toyota fucking I don't know whatever whatever the fuck is Tacoma. Tacoma. I was trying to think of the other one. That's one of them. Tundra. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) There's some guy named Jake that just has a – he bought a hat from Academy. It's like it's an Academy on it, and it's <laughs> camouflage, and he just rides around in his friend's truck, and they shoot these things. You can't trust anything that those guys hunt. Yeah. Boars are bad. Some people keep pigs as pets, though, so maybe you can be one of the lucky few. But them. from the movie Snatch, they eat people, though. They eat bodies. It's so cool, like the like the, like the, like the like the puppy one. I'm kind of fuck with the little baby. Like no, not, pigs. Not, not teacup pigs. My uh, the they the, don't stay, they don't stay like that. Though. If they don't get in, in, end up getting giant, they've been running rampant. No, the uh, the mechanic that my family used growing up, they had a pig that used to hang out at the fucking uh, car place, whatever the fuck what? you call those. Yeah, you dude, trust, you can't trust that. You can't trust that. No, he, dude, he, dude, he hung he hung out with their labs. He was a good pig. That 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 was then, that then, guy then, killed then, people then, and then, the pig ate the body. He That's got what it he did. got up to like three hundred pounds, so they couldn't keep him in the mechanic shop anymore. They had to actually yeah. move him, but. Dude, pigs are smart. Well, I'm sure there was a couple of good Nazis too. You know, I mean, there's, yeah. you can't, you can't, you don't, want to, you don't want to paint with a broad brush. That's you don't right. Want to paint with a broad brush. You know, you got outliers. Not count them all out. Okay, well, let's move yeah, along. Yeah, that was like the one cool pig. <laughs> that was that was it. Well, let's uh, let's move and along babe. to yeah, babe, babe, pig in the city. You can't forget that guy. Uh, let's move yep. along to and the Simpsons guy, the Simpsons pig, Spider mm-hmm. Pig was cool. Oh but, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, that pig rules. Cartoon pigs. So we got one more comeback kid for you, and then we'll let you go. But uh, you're you're our baseball guy, right. host of It's Lima Time Time on iTunes, and I would assume everywhere else you can hear the podcast. All your podcasting gimmicks. <laughs> hey, tune in, subscribe, like, do it. We say that all the time. I'm not. Gonna <laughs> but uh, so I, I was going to talk to you about because like, another comeback kid is. Uh, Blank many days until pitchers and catchers report. Like we're on those countdowns now, mm-hmm. and I'm cool with it now because football's over. It was annoying, like when we're leading up to the Super Bowl. It's like, well, just twelve more. Like, I don't care. Not yet. Like I'm not that excited about watching people throw fastballs through a fence on like somebody's video on a Twitter feed. But yeah, right. Like it is. Like it's the lamest. Everyone's excited. Like baseball's back, and it's just like it's just guys take a batting practice. They're like, just practicing. Little league. I'm just in eighth grade. I don't want to. I want to see grown men in a batting cage. Yeah. Right. So uh, I just was kind of talk not not necessarily about pitchers and catchers reporting. But I was just going to shoehorn the way to talk about baseball with you. And how are your thoughts on uh, on the Astros this season? How do you think they're looking going into 2019? They should be. I mean, they should be just about everyone's favorite to to win the World Series. I mean, you I don't know that problem with anybody picking the Boston again. But yeah, the the Astros are going to compete for another World Series. Do you think that Dallas Keuchel has, is, is a possibility he's going to come back? Like, what do you think the odds are of them? Uh, I mean, yeah, there's there is a possibility for sure, um, but I don't, I don't, I don't think he will just because of uh, them signing Miley, mm. which is uh, pretty much just him. He's like the same exact guy, the same exact pitcher, same yeah. stuff, and for four and a half million dollars. So I, I think if they can get a good, if Keuchel doesn't get a, a good deal in. Uh, Either Atlanta or Philadelphia, I think they were both interested in him. Uh, yeah, you can, you can definitely see him come back. Do you think uh, I, Peacock's going to be locked in on our five then, at least to start the year? Yeah, he's. Uh, yeah, I would. I don't. He, I don't think he has much of a chance. Yeah, I mean, I, I assume Josh James is going to work his way in there. I don't know if he's going to start out in the starting lineup, but I mean, they're going to have the right. They're going to have all the fans and they'll build the, the, the fifth spot is up for grabs. And, and Whitley too. You can't have, you can't count him yeah, out, but I don't think he's going to start you're up. Gonna have, you're going to have Framber Valdez. You're going to have you're going to you're going to have James, and then you're going to have you're going to have Peacock, and you're going to have you know Brady Rogers, and you're going to have you're going to have a bunch of guys going out for that one spot. Um, it sucks losing the colors, but I'm happy we got a lot of young if arms. James, if James can if James can get it together and can give you starter innings throwing 101 miles an hour, then I, I think that's the guy you want. But I, I like him at the back at the end of the bullpen. Yeah, especially well, well, after. Well, good, man. If they, if they stay healthy, the Astros will. I mean, they're, they're just going to win a bunch of World Series, and we're going to get complacent, and we'll, eventually we'll be a, a city of racists like Boston because we'll have all these championships and we'll be the same. Let's hope not, though. No, I mean, not the, not the championship yeah, part, the racist not, but part. I don't know what happened to them, even though they were racist back at the Revolution. Yeah, Bo- Boston yeah, has been that, racist that seems, for. That was always their thing. Since there was a Boston. Yeah, you're right. maybe, we'll, maybe we'll escape that fate, but. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll go, their we'll city's still yeah. fucking segregated yeah, between ethnicities, so... I I, the that. Irish have to live in the South. The North End is all Italians. You're not allowed to mix in Boston. That's the mm. rules. No, yeah, I, I say this a lot, but I can't trust any city that has ghettos of white people. <laughs> there you go. That. That's a good rule That's of thumb. very, very disconcerting. You got fucking Jeremy Renner running around with a Notre Dame tattoo, Robin Banks. I'm like, I'm out of here. I can't. <laughs> guys named Sully running around with pipes. It's just not good. <laughs> Um, just what one one final question for you is: uh, do you, Where do you yep. think we have a, a landing spot for? Like, I'm are, are you shocked that Bryce Harper and Machado haven't signed anywhere? And where do you think they land up, or they land by the end of the season? No, I'm, well, I'm not. I'm not surprised because the uh, owners are not as egregious contracts that both of these guys deserve. Um, they're, they're like hundred million dollar like super contracts that they. Contracts and they're also more, they're really complicated. Um, the way they structure those deals because it's so much money, so it it, it takes a little bit longer to get the deals done. So, I would, um, I, I think Manny Machado is a uh, who is tough. I, I think he ends up in, in Chicago the, with the White Sox, the White Sox that they, they go out and get him. And I think, uh, man, is it Harper, Philly? I. I I so I have this weird feeling. Yeah, I, I would probably say that, but I have a weird feeling that he's going to somehow end up back in in Washington. That he's going to end up just re-signing with him. They're going to get a deal, and he's going to stay there, and they're going to try to revamp everything. Yeah, that'd be just, cool. As, as that'd be cool. As long I'd be as happy he doesn't go that. to the Yankees. Would be my pick. Philadelphia is a strong player as well, and the Astros are, are apparently in play. I don't I, I don't think like I know Crane's down to spend the money, but I don't think he's about to shell out a four hundred million dollar contract. Why not? It's just, it just gut feeling like we're already like we're there, but that's a fucking a lot of money. You don't have to pay anybody though. We don't have any. Altuve's our only max deal. But we're so, I mean, like, he, he but gets, in the next couple of years we're gonna have to start out. paying. Like, he seemingly could he seemingly could do it pretty easily. <laughs> I would love to see him do it. I just don't see him doing it because we have all these contracts that are coming up in the next mm. couple of years. Now they're staggered so well. You don't have you don't have to deal with Bregman or or yeah, Cray one as arbitration, but I mean big deal. You don't have to deal with those guys till 2022, 2023. How many have, more years I mean, of arbitration does Correa have left after this one? He'll have, he'll have he has what, what's after this? We have three more. Yeah, like I, more? I fucking, like, even as much as I've loved baseball my entire life, yeah, I that's, fucking that's don't get arbitration. Like, they, so they're, and they're all, all of these contracts are staggered. I mean, like, they're not, they're not all coming up at once. Like, they're, and I don't I, want Bryce Hopper. I hate him. He, I, he's, a, he's a Cobra Kai. He's a bully. He's a piece of shit. I don't oh, I fucking him, but, love the Cobra Kai. But they can, he had a really terrible, he's a, he's a South cancer, but he, but they can afford him. I mean, if, and, and they wanted him, they had a deal done with the nationals that got beat by the, their ownership. The trade deadline last year, we would have got Bryce, Bryce Harper. We, we would have had another world series. Probably. The Red Sox wouldn't be, they'd be do committing hate crimes. You can't usual. tell me you honestly don't want Harper. You wouldn't want to add that left-handed bat to our lineup. I'm not, I'm not going to complain with having that bat in the, uh, in the lineup, but I, I, do, I, I legitimately do not like him. He's just one of those guys, like, I'm just like, Ugh. Like, I don't, like, I would rather just not have him. I mean, he's a douchebag, but, like, I don't care about my players well, like, being good like guys. Him. Hey, suck. <laughs> nah, he was, nobody likes him. He was always fighting Jonathan Papelbon. And the, he's just like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah but Papelbon was an asshole, bandanas. too. Can't trust that. Can't trust guys in bandanas. So, well, that's yeah, a no, good, that's a good theory. Ice, he's, he's from Las Vegas. Have you ever met anybody trust from Las Vegas? I don't think so, buddy. No, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's smart. I just and, uh, love that swing. You know swing, who's though. also from Las Vegas? The moon. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I guess that that's it. But uh, oh, he just he straight up just hung up on us. So yeah, <laughs> that really was the perfect. Answer. Patrick McClellan at P McClellan on Twitter. Listen to his podcast. It's Lima time. Time. Like and subscribe that. And uh, thanks to Pat for uh, for being on the podcast. Now uh, some people know how to make an entrance. He really knows how to make an exit. Yeah, he does. <laughs> All right, let's get on to not cool. Gang, that's where we tell you just stuff that's happened over the last week. It doesn't have to be a big deal, but uh, whatever it is, it just makes you say, hey, that's not very cool. Man, dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Man, dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. I'll start us off. All right. Because this one's got me. I've been kind of heated for a couple days on this now. Uh, so I finally got around to watching uh, The Defiant Ones. On mm. HBO, the, you know the documentary about Jimmy Ivine and uh, yep. and Dr. Dre and how they Big fucking threw up, uh, you know, inner inner records and, and all that shit. All yeah, that, yeah. So it's four episodes long. 
My brother's been trying to get me to watch it forever. We finally start watching it. So we watch the first three episodes. We get to episode four. And even though it's on demand on HBO, which we're already a member of, the fourth episode, they made us two, pay two ninety nine to get it. I've never mm. seen HBO do that before. It means they just think it's that good. Like, it's it's something that's on HBO that we're already, you know, we pay for. Right. Well, we don't really pay for it because, you know, we made them you give it to us for free. You it. But, uh, but how the fuck are you going to charge me for something that's already on there? For the fourth episode, like, you got me through the first three. I know Eminem's in the fourth. You know I'm going to fucking watch it. You made me pay two ninety nine. I don't know if it was a fucking glitch or something, but I... I really want to send an email and be like, what the fuck is up with that? They'll probably reimburse you at some point. <laughs> like, I want, I want to get after Comcast. I, I don't know if I should go after Comcast or HBO and be like, HBO, do you know Comcast is dicking with your fucking subscribers? Do you want to play this game, Comcast? Because I don't think so. Man, can I get HBO after Comcast? And have HBO come down on Comcast? Maybe. Oh, that's something. Give I it a go. Try. But, like, that pissed me off. Like, you know, it's, it's three bucks, so it's fucking whatever. But you just get to it and you're like, what the fuck is this shit? I've never seen anything on HBO have to be paid for. Yeah, that's uh, outside weird. of like you know pay per views, right? But that doesn't fucking count. That's not HBO though, is it? I don't know. No, no. it's just pay per view. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, it does suck. But yeah, it's the cool. first time I've ever seen that. Super not cool. Super not cool. Soups not cool. Uh, I'll go with mine, and mine's kind of just like I don't. I didn't really have like a good one this week, but. The other day, I was uh, I was on my uh, social medias, and I just I feel like I saw like three people over the span of a day post something along the lines of thinking about getting off social media, thinking about deleting my Facebook, thinking about doing this. If any of you guys are like, and it's like the same thing as the people like thinking about purging my friends list. If, so if you if, give me a reason, I should keep you, and it's like nobody fucking cares. Or just purge my friends list. So if you see this, you're one of the lucky ones. Whenever I see that, like if you ever do that, I'm just gonna unfriend you. That's what I do. That's my like. Oh, You're you, too you must have forgot me. You must have forgot to get me because I don't want to be your friend now. Yeah. Like Facebook friendships aren't like a club. Yeah. Like you're not cool. It used to mean something you're, back in the day. You're in like everybody. It's like LinkedIn now. It's like everybody's yeah. just your friend on Facebook. That's you meet somebody is. one time and you're like, then they show up on your friends list. Like, oh, I'll add. But there's no reason that like you would post thinking about deleting social media for any other reason than hoping that somebody was like, no, don't. Oh my god, don't, Pat, don't, don't delete your. You your just want social attention. Media, like we get it. You're needy. You're just. They're waiting for somebody to ask the why. Well, this has been going on in my life, and nobody gives a shit. That's like the the vague bookers. It's like such a bad day. Fuck this. People day. care less like, about up, your reasons oh. than they do about your fantasy team. They care less about Ooh, that's that. good. Yeah. That's good. But just people that will be like, um, oh, my God, Tuesday suck. And you're like, what's up, girl? Uh, message me. It's like, bitch, if you're going to fucking post that, you better tell the whole world. If you want to talk to somebody about it, text one of your friends. Yeah. And even they might tell you, shut up. We don't care. You're or an just adult. just bottle it up and drink suck it, it up like everybody else does. Right? Just drink through it like an adult. That's all I do. Whenever I get upset about stuff or angry, I just try and bottle those emotions in as much as I can, and it just eats away at me over time. But it's fine. Yeah, that's just how it is, guys. Or what you do is you have you, you find a friend with a podcast, you get in on the podcast, and then once a week you can there bitch you about this shit. Or do that. Yeah. Or do that. That's what I do. Is going to the bottle the child the most childish thing you can do when you're upset? No, because it's super. Uh, no, because it's, it's incredibly manly no, see, and adult like. You don't get it because you don't. Drink. Babies can't drink. This is just how adults deal with issues: is you drink through it. it so kind of like a child would, like if they were upset. You. you well, know, that's because they're hungry. That's because they're hungry. Yeah, but they also might just need a nap. They could need a nap as well. But a lot of times, I need naps too. Yeah, there's nothing childish <laughs> about you. See, you don't drink, so you just don't get it. Like, he can't explain it to you. <laughs> till till you have a shitty day and you go to the liquor store and you're like, you know what? I will buy a bottle of scotch. Then you'll understand, Robert. That's true. Maybe you have a problem, though. But yeah, <laughs> I think it's just called being an adult. Either or. Some people look at it differently. You know, is that the, is that <laughs> that's the, the beauty of alcohol? Some people think you have a problem. Some people just think it's a Tuesday. Is that the real sign of being an adult when you finally just hit the age when you're like, I don't give a, like because growing up you always hear, you know, you shouldn't drink alone. Blah blah blah. When you finally just hit the age when you're like, fuck that, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna drink when I get home. I don't yeah. care that nobody's here. Sometimes at you work, can totally drink alone. Sometimes at work, I get candy. Like in, the, Ooh, in our little break room, no, like I buy candy and I eat a candy bar, and I always just think like, "Hot, my mom would be so pissed right now if I was like, <laughs> like younger me was doing this. She'd be like, what the fuck are you doing eating Snickers?'" And I'd be like, hey, "I can do whatever the fuck I want because I'm an adult now. I'm gonna eat candy for breakfast. You don't pay my bills anymore. I do eat candy for breakfast <laughs> a lot of days. Yeah. So I don't know. That's my, that's pretty childish of me though, isn't it? 
Actually, you know what? To piggyback or is it that, incredibly adult? Because I'm just like I'm just leaning into that freedom. A lot of the time when I would get to work, uh, I haven't done this in a couple of years, but I used to. I'd get there in the morning and I'd have a brownie and a Dr Pepper for breakfast. That's what I, what's That's what, about as childish as you can champions. get. Yeah. My dentist would have fucking hated it if oh, I yeah. ever told him that. And he didn't brush his teeth when he went but, to work either. Before he went to work, so it was just. Well, I mean, I definitely wasn't brushing him after I hit a brown. I'm not. I'm not the weird guy that's gonna bring a toothbrush to work. There is a guy that does that at my office, and it's always like, but there's just. There's shit everywhere in here, and it's like, but you shit in your bathroom. Like, yeah, I know, but it's my shit. <laughs> you know, it's it's there's something different about that. Yeah, you might work with somebody that looks like me. You don't want my poo particles floating around your right, toothbrush. Right, right. I'm familiar with the poo particles <laughs> of the. I mean, not not like straight up familiar, but like I know the people whose poo particles are floating around my own bathroom. Yeah, as opposed to just the, the work bathroom. <laughs> so that was you're not cool. Huh? No, that was yours. Was, oh yeah, fuck. <laughs> no, I guess you were you were no, putting back no, on it. It was no, it kind of turned into a bunch of not cool. Yeah, Robert just asked us a question in the middle of it. Yeah, uh, but just, I fucking just hate when people just like I get I'm needy and I need attention on Facebook. Oh my god, like tight. Also, like if you're a chick and you post the same six pictures over and over again as your Throwback Thursday, that's not like you got to stop. You got to stop. Don't do that. That's just another added. That on. just means you only have six pictures where you look good. Right, it's like just you got a camera, right? Just selfie that bitch. I don't know. Use Photoshop like a normal person. No, don't. That's no, a lot. No, no, Fa- no. Facetune, Facetune. Just add that to the not cool list. That's week. literally just, the first time I've ever heard the term Facetune. You don't know what Facetune is? No. If you have, have you ever been out and seen like girls like they take a picture and then they don't post it for like an hour because I thought that was Photoshop because they're just like drawing like bl- like all like that's off of all the blemishes. I think there's an app called there is an app called uh, Facetune and that's like the big one, but. Women, women are liars and terrible people. It's just that's what they do. I do think it's funny when people face tune like them, and then like they have three other people. Like if it was us three, and I just like did my face to where like my face looks like. Why is Alex's face so like flawless as opposed? Yeah, but dudes don't do that. You know who does that? Chicks. Yeah, well, no, but I'm saying like if if we did that, like you'd be like, well, what, why did Alex do that? And then just not not edit Pat and Robert and they'd be like, ah, uh, because he's trying to look better than everybody. And it's like just do it to everybody then. If is you're it, gonna do it to one person, do it to everybody. Is it just me or is Alex's face a different color in this picture? But that's what. It, but that's the same shit though. It's so weird. It's like it, you you're not good at it. Most people aren't good at it. And like like I don't care if yeah, you had a no, zit you, on your you, cheek you or whatever. You taught me that how you just see how the forehead looks a little blurry now. So now every picture I look at, I, I notice it, it ruins Instagram. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't have Instagram, but it's I mean, people just share their Instagram to Facebook and shit mm. now too. So now, like, you ruined it for me. You got woke to it. Yeah. I thought chicks were just looking good. But now you're just not. You, you, you're, I was like, oh, you're a liar. You won't get fooled Maybe again. I should just start doing that on every fucking picture that I see that looks slightly edited. Just comment, you're a liar. Facetune's been real good to you, kid. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is the answers segment, gang. Now, a long, long time ago. In a galaxy uh, far, far away. A state named Georgia. 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 No, I'm done. All right. Uh, in, in, when I was a, a, a young lad, as the Brits would say, back in, uh, in third grade. As Savage would say. In... <laughs> When me was a young lad, uh, uh, when, when I was in Miss Winter's third grade class at Far Elementary in Atlanta, Georgia, in Lawrenceville, Georgia, specifically, I uh, I remember her telling the class one time, "There's no such thing as a stupid question." Just stupid people. She didn't say that part though. But I was like, "Okay, cool." I raised my hand and asked a question, and then everybody proceeded to laugh at me. And I was just like, right, what the fuck? I, just, I thought that there was no such thing as a stupid question. So I vowed to myself that one day, if I was ever in charge, that there wouldn't be such a thing as a stupid question I would answer them all and I didn't really become in charge of anything but I started a podcast so I put myself in charge of that self-appointed in chargeness and I was like I'm gonna take any any question that anybody's got there's no such thing as a stupid question we'll get to the bottom of it so I encourage you to tweet us your questions at Pascal pod on the Twitter hashtag PTG answers I am at Alex J Middleton Pat's at not Pat Dion and Robert is at Robert Barbosa zero three you can also email them to us although we prefer the tweet hashtag PTG answers. But if you want to email them to us, you can email them to us answers at past the gravy pod.com. All right. Without further ado, let's get to the answers segment. Well, if you just answer the question, why don't you just answer the question? Be honest. No big deal. Yeah, answer. Answer the question. Don't change the subject. Just answer the fucking question. Yep, yep, yep. What question do you like? The question. Answers, 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 answ
Any questions? Anyway, I almost there forgot. I almost forgot. Any questions? I can't wait till it's Halloween again. We're going to get to play that all the time. Anyways, let's go with our, our podcast son, Skylar Lester, at OMG at Skylar. He says, is a boomerang with a handle a better ladle or a better boomerang? Well, it's a better boomerang. It's... Mm. Because it's a boomerang. No, because a boomerang with a ladle with a handle would be a shitty ladle. You're right. It would not but be it, a very good ladle. But it's, just but a it's already a boomerang anyway. So. I mean, technically a boomerang, it just has a handle on it already. Yeah. It's just what you grab. But even if you added a handle to it, it might be a little lopsided, but I'm sure it would still make the turn and come back. And to it. So better it's, weapon it, it, as well. Yeah. A better weapon. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, because if you just flip it over, then it becomes a scythe. It's a yeah, and you can catch somebody on the side with like the yeah. side of the the handle and everything too. So like, I would definitely say that a uh, it's still a better boomerang. Boomerang with a little handle on it is a better boomerang. It's also I mean it is definitely it's, a ladle. It's a shitty ladle. It's a shitty ladle. Yeah, it, but it, it is but a it's ladle. a good boomerang and a shitty ladle. Yeah, I like that Skyler was able to combine the two. That makes me very happy. Boomerangs and ladles. That's, that's what this podcast is going to become known for. You know that, right? Of course, that's our thing. All right. And I hate it. Ending the wage gap. I love the ladles. Boomerangs and ladles. Even though I do love, I love boomerangs, I hate what you guys have done to it. Mm, I think we've brought boomerangs to the forefront. Also, floating bridges, I don't want to be that guy, but I've gotten some evidence to back up my claims. So I was probably in the right. You guys were definitely in the wrong, and science is proving you wrong. Um, Luke Soin writes in and says, are yo-yos just boomerangs with leashes? (laughs) Yes. Yes. Yes, they are. No. You walk in the dog. You can literally walk the dog with a yo-yo. No, because it goes in a straight line. It goes down and it comes right back. It goes down. It comes right back. It goes down. It's a boomerang. If if it looped, it does. But because you can do that too. You can go that way as well. But even though, even if you're twirling it as it does it, it's still just in, you're moving the uh, yo-yo around. Eh, It's just the yo-yo is going to the end of the rope and straight back. The yo uh, the boomerang has to come around. You can loop it around you, buddy. Yeah, no, you can swing it around. Yep, that but makes that's it a boomerang. Not, no, it's, it's a not. boomerang. Everything no, because, is a boomerang. Also, you know why it's not a boomerang? Because you don't let go of it. You're still attached well, to it. Because you're holding onto the leash. Yeah, you're, you're still, holding onto the leash. But so you're, it's like you're still attached it's like to it was a baby boomerang and you didn't you didn't quite trust it to come no, back. You're, so you you send it out with a leash. Boomerangs you have to release. A yo-yo, you stay you attached. You release the boomerang. It is the yo-yo, but you just have the leash that you're holding on to it. But the leash is part but of it. You're holding on to the leash. The leash is just connected to it. The le- uh, the string is part of the yo-yo, I disagree. Though. Robert, what do you think on this on this hard-hitting topic that we're discussing here? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that last week I made it clear that I am abstaining. <laughs> I abstain. So if you abstain, then that means I'm right. All right. So you're just not going to answer any of this then? Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, so Robert. basically that means Robert's not taking part in so answers anymore. When Robert doesn't, when it's a stalemate and Robert doesn't agree with me, then I win. No, that's how, that's the I new rule. Those I'm are the new you. rules. No, but I, you can't I, make the rules. I made the rule already. I no, made the I rule before you were like, Oh, I'm bigger than you. So like, my rule counts. So then I'm right. A no, boomerang. I win. A yo-yo is just a boomerang with a leash. It's not. It is. It's one hundred percent. It's not. It's not. It's not the best boomerang, but it's still a boomerang with a leash. It's not. It's true. I laid Luke out multiple gets it. scientific answers as to why. And it's I not. gave you fantastic answers no, on you why. Give me it opinion because it's a leash. Hey, facts don't care about your uh, feelings, buddy. It's not my feelings. It's it's a thought, and it's the truth. No, so you. Feel, I only think in truth. You. I only feel that think it is in a boomerang, truth, but it's not. Uh, Danielle Weston at Danny underscore Weston writes in and says. Being bald, the absence of hair or a surplus of face. Now, while that is a good question, it is just the absence. Yeah, because that's what bald is. <laughs> yeah. You're bald. That means there's no but hair. You there. had hair, and when you lost your hair, you became bald. You didn't surplus get, of because like, you, you don't have a bigger face. face. But what if you got like a really big head though? Then that's still. What your if head, you were like a living face. bobblehead, and then your face you were doesn't also curl back to the top of uh, to you're like bald. the back of your head? Because yeah. your face is only the front of your head. So yeah, it would definitely be a. Uh, Absence of hair. Yeah. I like the question, though. I like, I like where your brain's going. Good thinking, Danny Weston, on that one. Uh, George Joyce writes in, and I don't think George has written in before. I don't know if he has or not, but uh, he writes in and says, ulterior motives with an all-terrain vehicle. Ulterior motives? <laughs> all- <You're-> ulterior <laughs> motives with an all-terrain vehicle. Are those ulterior motives? I'm going to go no, because ulterior... What does that even mean? See, here, I'm, uh, this is how my brain is going with it. Ulterior means <laughs> there's other motives. If you have ulterior motives, it means you have all of the motives. I like all terrain. I, I would just rather call it all terrain motives. I think that sounds way cool. I see. I think that's better. 
but ulterior motives means you have all of the motives. How do you have ulterior motives in all-terrain vehicle? Yeah, I mean, you're what just, does that mean? You have ulterior motives while you're riding Ul- an all-terrain ulterior vehicle. Ulterior motives means like you're doing something, but you're gonna like you plan on doing something else, right? Or, or so it would be like if I was gonna go mudding on my four wheeler, but I also had like a body on the back of it. Oh, you to know go what? hide, then like those would be ulterior motives. Like if you guys were going out on four wheelers with me, I was like, cool, I'm gonna go out here because this is an all-terrain vehicle. But I also had like hidden a dead body, and I was gonna go hide it while you guys were four wheeling or whatever. And like that, that would be my ulterior motive. No, I've got it, and Robert's not gonna get it because he's not gonna understand the show. If you put the, I don't know if it's the engine or the computer or the, if you want to call it the brain of the car from Knight Rider, and put it on an ATV, it could have ulterior motives. Because it's because it's, it's doing it's whatever it wants car. to do, yeah. yeah. And at that point, it could just be like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna, I don't want to go." Also, if you today. put the brain slash engine from any car in the movie Cars, yeah, probably could also do the same thing. That yeah. might be more in your wheelhouse, right? Maybe, but it's saying <laughs> with an alter, all, all-terrain vehicle, not all-terrain vehicle has the alter. You're the right. The, the vehicle itself does not have the all ulterior motives while being ulterior. All-terrain. Every time all-terrain. I read ulterior, Ul- it makes Ulterior think, is not a word. I keep saying it. It's making me think it. of Ultron every time. Ul- it's making me think of Michelob Ultra. Uh, no, I would say it's all-terrain motives is what it would be. I like ulterior motives. I See, I don't think Because that means you just have all the motives. What if you had ulterior motives on an all-terrain vehicle, but only in the interior of that all-terrain vehicle? What if those it was, would be ulterior motives? What if it was ulterior sure. mold terrain vehicle? No, that's bad. No, that's I don't much. like that. Yeah, that's too much. Uh-uh. That's, that's trying too yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah. All right, since I can't come up with a better term for I'm ulterior just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna say no. <laughs> I'm I like, gonna go with no as well. I'm gonna go. All, I like it. I think we gotta allow this. George. I, 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 I like the way his brain is thinking, but. No. I like all tier <laughs> motives, but I actually like all terrain motives a little bit better. I mean, then you just have motives that work on any terrain, so that doesn't work either. But that I doesn't mean, answer this question. A, you're right, just, but you're just trying cool. to come up with a better catchphrase. Uh, yeah, I am. That doesn't I actually really explain am, what's going still, on. Still, shut up, Pat. Quit, quit ruining my theory. So two I, no's and a stupid. All tier <laughs> motives thing. is what I like. I like that better. Yes, I think you're right, Joyce. Apparently, I'm in the minority, but you know what? Uh, facts have proved me correct when I was in the minority on this lately, on this kind you of stuff are, lately. You and never have facts. Floating bridges. You. People sent me links. Yeah. No, and I to told them. scientific studies. No, once you connect the boats, they are no longer boats. They are a bridge. But they are part of their their boats. No, they're a bridge. A bridge. They're, so they're, they're they are just, a bridge. But, eh, at that if point. you're walking on a boat and it's a bridge, it's a floating bridge. No, it's just a bridge. It's a floating bridge. Floating bridge. All right. Brandon Whitehead at Brando Whitehead on the Twitter writes in and says, Why do we put a round pizza box? Or, all right. All right. Alex repeats that Jesus, again. Figure it out today, man. I know. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. Brandon Whitehead at Brando Whitehead says, Why do we put a round pizza in a square box and eat it in triangle slices? Because fuck you. That's no. Because uh, it's awesome. We don't really know how geometry works. And yeah. Pizza is delicious. Because it's the best way to fit it into the box and also cut it. Well, sometimes like, some like is it Domino's that does the uh, the squares? No, not Domino's. Um, some pizza pe- Hut does some squares. people do squares. Uh, Papa John, no. Papa John's doesn't do squares. No. I don't know. Some of them do, but that's that's not as satisfying. It's not, It's really not. No, you know why? Because that's a square pizza. It's not a slice. You don't get the flop. Yeah, you gotta you have get the flop. flop on it. I mean, I'm not gonna complain if you throw a square pizza in front of me. No. Like it, a deep dish pizza is weird. Honestly, it, I prefer my pizza to be square when I get a uh, flat crust, or I mean, a thin crust with uh, jalapeno and uh, what do I usually do with that? I think pineapple and pepperoni. Thin crust is weird, right? It is, but like I don't think thin crust is weird. What, I get it because a lot of people want to focus more on the toppings as opposed to the crust. I think if you're gonna do thin crust, though, then it has to be. My cut dad's into a squares. big thin crust guy. Thin crust has to be cut into squares, is my opinion on He's it. He's not that guy. He likes he likes the triangle cut thin crusts. Yeah. He's just not a crust guy. He doesn't care about the bread. But, that, but, He's the, like, but, I just but see, on. then it's not a slice of pizza, though. It's a square of pizza. That's true. It is a square, and a square is weird. A square is weird when you have to, like, you can't fold. I fo- Are you a folder? You mean, like, you fold it? You put the finger in the middle and then, like, yeah. make, make it into a V? Yeah. If it's a really big slice, yeah. If it's a normal I, slice of pizza, I just have no. the habit of doing that with everything. You I mean, just, not you fold every, every pizza. Actually, every food I have. I fold my hot dogs. You fold your brownies. I fold all the things I eat. Um, well, a little I think life it's, hack for it's you. It's triangle because if it's not triangle, it's not a slice. You can't make it round. And 
the reason it's put in a square box, I mean, pizza just works fits. better round. It fits. It, it fits well, and round boxes are weird. But that'd be cool. And, but like you just have to have the the pizza would have to be the perfect size every single time. You know, and you it, couldn't it's, have any room for error because it's, it's easier, gonna slide around. It's easier to make a square box than it is a round one. You can't like you see the commercial it's the guy, to like fold, folding. Them. I used to have to do you that. Fold it up. I yeah, used to you, have to do that. Imagine if you had to fold a round box with like the edge. Like yeah, you that try sucks. To fold something into a circle at one point, it's just gonna like pinch together. Some, I think it was like Pizza Hut even has like some of those like sort of rounded square boxes too, and it's just like it, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. The for the personal pan ones, the black ones. Yeah, that's. It. So that's why it's just the box it works better. It's easier to fold. Circle it's just that's what shaped pizza is, and triangle because then it's a slice. That was like a pretty like reasonable question. Yeah. That I feel like would be something. It's just like that, that'd be an observation that somebody would actually have in like a real life thing, and not specifically to send into pasty gravy. Yeah. So I like that. I mean, but I, I also I, I also like that we've had two boomerang questions this week. So like keep those. Counting. Well, I mean, you pick the fucking questions, right? So. But like I'm like. We don't usually have two boomerang questions, so that was good. Usually. Right before we start the podcast next week, if there's a boomerang, I'm just going to delete it and see you scramble to be like, where'd it go? Oh, I'll, I'll have a backup then. Don't <laughs> worry. I, I'll have a system in place. What? Um, Nate Gajeski? Is that it? Gajeski. Guy, is it? It's how Gajeski. How do you get a Gajeski out of that? Uh, because we had a kid that we went to high school with, and that's how he pronounced his last name. Gajeski. Gajeski. I like Gajeski. It's not Gajeski. I like to think that Nate is Nate Gajeski and he goes by Gadge. His friends call him Gadge. <laughs> um, Why wouldn't they call him Good Jetski? old Gadge is... Oh, what? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, but unfortunately it's Gajeski. Nate G writes in, <laughs> <laughs> writes in and says, Would you rather black out with your sack out or hiccup with your stick up? This is like... I don't... Th- Think Nate's written into us before. I feel like I, I don't think read, so. That's read. a that's a strong first question. But like he definitely listened. Yeah, <laughs> he's definitely been listening because this is the best question ever. I'm gonna not really the best question. Ever, I, but I, it's pretty I, great. I, I gotta go with practicality on this. I'd rather hiccup with my stick up because if you black out with your stick up, there's know a lot you. of things that my, can happen. My friends are dicks. Yeah. They might hit me in the nuts. Yeah, I've, I mean, I'm I, I've passed out and woken up. Well, I passed out with shoes on, woken up with dicks all over my face. Yeah. And, uh, drawn dicks, not actual dicks. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I told you guys about like them cover- taking my sock off, just covering my, my foot in just black Sharpie, and then putting the sock and shoe back on. So then like it, I had to get home. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I wiped everything off, got all cleaned up, and then I was like, damn it. Like They painted my fucking foot? What the <laughs> fuck? But uh, that, was, that was a pretty good troll. But yeah, I, I think like if you have your sack out... And you're you're blacked out like that's just there's nothing good that's coming. By the way, out. I like, don't the know. Only I, good thing could be that somebody doesn't fuck with your ball sack, and that's just like that's a regular day. Yeah. Have you ever just pulled your sack out before? No, I don't like doing that because it just it just See, invites I, it invites unwelcomed just like problems. I've done like, it before because it's funny to make you. somebody look at your balls. But also, I'll tell you a couple things about it. One, you like to just get the sack out. You got to like pull it around your dick, so you kind of have to like twist your dick around, so it's uncomfortable. And two, you feel super exposed the entire time. It's not a good feeling, like because your t- your ter- your balls are out. You're terrified someone's right. going to attack your balls. Yeah, it's not a good feeling. So I'm going to hiccup with the stick hiccup up. with your stick up makes more sense because like you know that seems easy to do. Is I got a boner and I'm hicking up, you know? Yeah, I'm hicking. I'm up. sure I've done it before. I, I, I like that hicking up I'm, was I'm hicking uh, up. Is, is, the blur- is, is the adjective of doing. I'm hicking up, you know? <laughs> what? What does that mean? Are you? Are you a redneck? You What's being wrong a, with you? Are you being a hick? I'm hicking up, man. <laughs> are you on a farm? What's happening? That's a phenomenal question. Uh, yeah, I would rather have. I would rather hick up with my stick up. Robert, same unanimous. What, yeah. what, what would you rather do though? What do you mean? What would I rather do? Like, what would you, what, you have to say it though. It's unanimous. That's you can't else. say stick. Hick up with your. That, no, that's the word. I, that's the word I have brought. That I have problems with. You can't say <laughs> just because it mentions the dick? <laughs> Wait, can you not say dick? No, I can't say hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> you just did. He's fucking funny when he gets you like that. <laughs> damn it, Robert. Uh, yeah. That you, was You win this round. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Um yeah, that was that that was a solid little crop, guys. That was a solid I don't know crop. if I like if I like the hiccup with your stick up better than ulterior motives, but the two oh, first, I'm going stick up. The two first time answers question askers, I think we're gonna give it as a tie for best answers question of the week. Like, well done, gang. The two rooks get it done. Not to knock on Skylar, Danny, Luke, or Brandon, but like 
these two rookies are just bringing the heat. Yeah. Especially, and like, like I would, I don't want to give an edge to either of the two, but I would say like Nate, like Gadjeski, Mr. Jeski. Uh, I, I would say that he like obviously like knowing the show enough, coming in with something that's perfect for it. Like he knows what's in our wheelhouse, and this is the kind of stuff that it was. You know, what I just realized if I ever decide to go on a crime spree. I'm just going to take Viagra and force myself to get the hiccups and rob a bunch of convenience stores so I'll be known as the hiccup stick-up man. Ooh, do that. But that'd be super embarrassing if, like, somebody, like... Once I you, get, once I get imagine, caught, it's like, embarrassing. The, like, can you imagine, like, the security tapes, like, when, like... This guy's you're, hiccuping, but he's also hard as a rock. But you're, like, trying to, like, hold up, like, a gas station and, like, some, like, good Samaritan because we're in Texas, like, just fucking, like, pistol whips the fuck out of you. And you're like, damn it, now I'm, like, getting my ass kicked and I have a boner. <laughs> If I get your ass, then you got to worry about which way you fall. Getting your ass kicked with a boner has to be like the worst. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Cause it's like, why are you excited that you got? Like, I was aroused when I started getting beaten up. He hit me. I didn't not because of it. <laughs> he hit me and I got hard. <laughs> you turned on. I think I think the league was it like uh, fear boner. Mm-hmm. Fear boner was a, was an entire episode. There was an outtake on Parks and Rec too where uh, April slaps Andy. And uh, I fucking I'm forgetting the actor's name who plays Andy. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. He just like pauses and he's like, and she she looks at me goes, "Do you have a fucking boner?" He's like, "Nobody's ever hit me before." <laughs> like you didn't look at him. I'm pretty sure she smacked him and he got hard. That's Which is so just funny, another funny. reason to love Chris Pratt and Parks and Rec. Parks yeah. and Rec is is fantastic. But yeah. uh, good crop of questions, yeah. gang. That's it. Solid week of the podcast. I feel like uh, I mean we've had the one bad week. I feel like. I, I, I'll own it when we Quit got a going bad back podcast. To it. it was like three weeks ago. But, I've, going back you know, I've just used it as motivation, Pat, because, you know, like Tom Brady, when you're not the first person picked, you know, when you have a bad day, maybe Drew Bree or Drew Bledsoe is I mean, I literally wasn't the first ahead person of picked for this, so I get it. Well, I mean, I got to you eventually. <laughs> yeah, but, like, we, you, you just knock it out of the park. You just wait for your opportunity, then you go, and you just make them all be like, well, this is the fucking best damn podcast yeah. there is. I That's mean, I had 31 other podcasts pass on me so are we the, the tom brady of podcasting you be the judge yeah you be the judge i don't know guys but uh until next week i guess that's it at pass the gray pod on twitter i'm at alex J- i'm trying not to burp into the microphone while i'm i do it signing off i'm at alex j middleton pat's at not pat dion so, robert is robert barbosa zero three on the twitter and give us the five star reviews share us with a friend that's the best way that uh, you can spread past the gravy and until next week you guys go out there and pass the gravy bitches